Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the dev blog. I have made some progress since the last episode. Uh, first and foremost, normal dirt is now diggable as it wasn't in the previous episode. I should probably turn off no clip and all that other stuff. Uh, I have added water though. Uh, I really hate this texture on it. It looks horrible. Like you see seams and everything, it's the worst texture ever. Uh, also, you'll notice up on the mini map there, there's orange stuff showing right ahead. I have no idea what that is because there's nothing orange here. There's flowing water, but I don't think that should be showing orange. And there is some iron here, but uh, that shouldn't really be showing orange either. So I'm not sure what the cause of that is but uh yeah we have water and flowing water i don't have river water yet um but yeah uh, i made it so the hand can dig stone because i don't have any tools yet and uh this is all still the, just the default inventory so let's go over some of the new stuff that i have made first off we have cobble which this is actually just grabbed right out of my old texture pack i was making for my test game but have now canceled because well pfft, I'm making an entirely new sub game, so I'm using some textures from that. So I have stone and cobble, and those, they match up pretty well for the colors. And then we have desert stone here, which, I don't know, I almost feel like this should be desert sandstone. Except it's the wrong color. And then the desert cobble, which again, the colors match up pretty close. So I do like the way that the two work together, but I don't know. I feel like a lot of these textures are going to be remade. Um, I have snow and the snow block. This is the iron lump. You get that from harvesting the iron ores, of course. Uh, iron, the normal snow goes on as the snow cover for the ground. Nothing too fancy with that. And then the full snow blocks, both using the exact same textures. And one's just a, a shorter node, pretty much. And then we have ice which I don't really care for the texture on. But again, a lot of stuff's going to be getting changed, so yeah, whatever. The issue I'm having is when I make these textures in Krita, the colors are totally different than they show up in the game. And I don't know why that is. I'm guessing it's something with the gamma, but I'm not sure. Um, okay, so this is desert sand here. And there's also normal sand, which is going to be called ground sand. Uh, all the ground nodes are being called ground. In oh, it helps if I say, give me ground sand. And I should have done 20, but whatever. And here we have the normal sand. Uh, they are falling nodes. So if I put some sand up and then dig the sand, those fall. So that works as one would expect. Um, I thought I actually did gravel as well. Oh, you need to put in give me. And let's see, yes, I do have gravel. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this texture. Uh, but again, gravel is a falling node, so if I Put some up there and then drop one it'll fall and i think that's pretty much it for updates oh no wait there's also ground what is it dirt with snow i think i made that yes i did so we have this as well now a lot of the stuff's not used by map gen yet um and mainly that just because I need to define all the biomes. I have two biomes so far. I have the grasslands and then I have some kind of a beach thing. But something's weird here with water being way out there and everything stone coming up to here. So I don't know. I need to do a lot of work on the biomes. I need to figure out how those work as far as everything goes for figuring out biome dispersion. I know there's some tools out there that the guys that make mind test game use so i'll have to find those tools and 
yeah, work with that. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to show you was the iron ores here. Now, there are two varieties of the block, and this will be pretty much the same for all of the ores, I think. And this actually is taking inspiration from the dense ores mod, which added a dense and a light version of the ore. I figured out oh, it's kind of overdoing it probably. So the the normal ore here, uh, when we harvest it, we usually just get one ore. I think there's a very slight chance you might get two. But for the most part, you always just get one piece of ore from those. Yeah, every time we got one. Then I have this, uh, the dense version, which is denoted by the number two at the end of the name. And that will yield two. Uh, in that case, we got five. And we got two. So you'll get extra ore from the heavy ores. And those all spawn naturally in the world. And let me just see if I can find some out here. I think there was some down in this hole. Yep. And how this works is it'll spawn the light versions, and then within the light versions, spawn the heavy version. Uh, I have a feeling I probably have way too much out here, because there's tons of it, and I don't think there should be that much. So that needs to be tweaked around. Uh, you can see I have the breath bubbles. I added those. And I also added some hearts, which I don't really care for the way those hearts turned out. I'm going to have to remake them, but there's a lot I have to remake. Uh, the texture for the iron lump here, I actually made that in Blender. Uh, and I will be doing a video on that, probably next week's video. We'll be using Blender to create uh, thumbnails and uh, inventory icons and stuff. Because that actually worked out pretty good. And I could have never done that by hand. Now, I did a lot of research, which I know is probably a huge surprise to everybody concerning how I usually don't do any research. And iron looks nothing like this in raw form. Uh, iron, for the most part, doesn't really even come as lumps in the ground. It's more just like a vein inside of stone, and there's a lot of processing that has to be done to actually get iron into a lump. So this is kind of inaccurate, but hey, it's a voxel game. It's not going to be 100% accurate. Though I will say this, you are not going to cook an iron lump in a furnace and get an iron ingots out of it. The process that you will need to take your raw ores and turn them into metals is going to be a little more time consuming and a little more difficult. And that is obviously intentional because this is designed to be a more realistic, more survival based game. And yeah, getting your metals and stuff into workable conditions and then making tools out of them is going to be more than just using a crafting grid and cooking stuff in a furnace. There'll actually be like a foundry you'll have to build of some sort. Uh, it'll probably just be a single node, but it maybe will take up two spaces or something. And um, yeah, there's going to be like tooling involved where, I don't know, I'm still kind of figuring out a lot of this stuff here, but it's going to be a little more involved. You're going to need to make more stuff to make stuff so yeah that is i think it for this update um oh obviously i added the the crack animation here i actually did this in blender as well which turned out really well i think i like how that builds up and that was uh that was actually all done um procedurally I took a, I think it was a musgrave, mus, musgrave, something like that texture, and just changed the intensity of it, and animated it as uh, a single icon, and then, or as a single tile, and then put all of them together. It was actually an add-on to do that, which I will probably cover in some future video as well. But that should be all of the updates. I really haven't done too much other than... What I'm, what I'm initially starting with here is the map gen aliases. So I want to get all of those nodes made so map gen has everything it needs to do core map gen. And then I will go on to creating all the new nodes that will be needed for the biomes, 
for everything else. And yeah, the whole lot of ideas, not a whole lot of time. Uh, time is going to be, well, I don't know. Things are kind of up in the air right now. I'm in the process of buying a new home. And uh, yeah, that's going to obviously affect this to some degree. So we'll see. We'll see how everything plays out. Code is out finally on GitHub. Um, well, actually, it was by the time the first video went public, but it is on GitHub, and it's linked on my website, which is linked in the description. So feel free to download it, play with it. Uh, it is a 32-pixel pack texture pack. There are no ABMs yet, so it should be extremely lightweight. This is kind of at the stage of, like, minimal development tests. You know, it, it doesn't really do anything right now. And I wouldn't really advise doing too much work because a lot of things are going to change yet so don't like download and start building mansions and stuff because stuff's going to end up breaking plus there's really nothing to build out of other than dirt and stone so so yeah that's that wraps this video up thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time